It was back in October 2017 that the former Dietz Lantern factory in Syracuse was turned into a luxurious apartment complex featuring 92 upscale lofts. Good evening, everyone. But less than two years after the opening, the management company is forcing residents to temporarily vacate because of elevated lead levels. Now, for those who are not familiar, Dietz lofts are located off of Erie Boulevard West, not far from the National Grid building. So what's being done about it? News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla investigates one of your stories. Is there anybody here that we could speak with? No, not at this moment. From lanterns to lofts and now traces of lead. I went to the management office to see what the Dietz Lantern Factory is doing to address the issue. A spokesperson with the company tells me they were recently made aware of lead containing dust on the property, likely caused by sandblasting ceilings, beams, and brick years prior to renovating the building. And after collecting 1,000 samples, tests confirmed 7% had lead quantities higher than EPA standards. Now residents in the 92 luxury lofts want answers. I spoke with a handful of tenants who did not want to go on camera but told me they're frustrated. One saying he's not re-signing his lease and knows of at least 10 others who've already moved out. The president of the Paulus Development, Matthew Paulus, giving our newsroom a statement that reads in part, we continue to have no evidence the presence of lead dust has impacted the health of any of our residents. But out of an abundance of caution, an aggressive construction plan is set in place, temporarily dimming the lights inside the old lantern factory. In phases, the company will place tenants in the residence inn by the Marriott Syracuse downtown. Residents will not have to pay for the hotel, nor will they have to pay their rent for the time they're being forced to vacate. They'll also be given a $100 gift card to compensate for any perishable food. We're told the work will be done in phases, each one expected to last about two weeks. The first set of tenants will have to be out of their units by 8 a.m. April 15th. The company tells me residents will be reimbursed as well for medical bills directly associated with blood testing for lead. The first phase of the construction plan begins next week, and residents were told they should expect to stay in the hotel for about two weeks, but construction on the entire building is expected to be completed by the end of June. Christy? Nicole, thank you. And the tenants were also given some careful instructions to follow. They've been told to wipe countertops with a damp cloth before each use, and they've been asked not to do any deep cleaning until their unit has been worked on.